Well, hello there. Uh, I'm not going to be talking much before this tutorial starts, but I will have to mention a couple things because I think that I would be doing you a disservice if I didn't. So, first of all, these are not ideal. Um, if you have medical face masks, you should be using them. Uh, and you can wear these on top for, I don't know, an extra layer of uh, protection. But if you have nothing, uh, this is better than nothing. Secondly, this is not my original pattern. Um, I found it on the interwebs, <laughs> uh, but thought that it might be um, a bit hard to understand um, for people who don't sew professionally or aren't really good at it. So I thought having it in visual form instead of words would help. And I think that yeah, most people are visual learners, so I'm hoping to help a few people here. Uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get started with this little guy. These are the measurements, but they are also in the description. And we'll start by folding this big piece over and just sewing along the edge right there. And once that's done, we're gonna flip it inside out and iron it flat. Then we're gonna mark four centimeters and then two and a half centimeters. Here you can see where I converted from inch to centimeters uh, on both sides. This part is a bit tricky, which is why I wanted to make this video mainly. And I really don't know how to describe it, but you see what I'm doing. You're putting that first mark of the 4 centimeters onto the 2.5 centimeters. They should meet. We're gonna go through this a couple times and I'll also have uh, a version of this where you just pin down one side instead of both sides at the same time. <laughs> So this is where the conversion got a bit rough. <laughs> um, we're gonna mark one centimeter from the edge that we just folded over. And from there, we're gonna mark two centimeters. And we're gonna do the same little foldy thing. As you can see, it can be tricky. <laughs> And one more time, one centimeters and two centimeters. I think the original uh, measurements were half an inch and then an inch. So you want to sew along this outer line and secure the little folds. And for the elastic, uh, I just eyeballed where I wanted it to go. You don't want it to go exactly on the edge there. Uh, you want to keep like a few millimeters uh, of distance there. And just secure it real quick. And now we're gonna need these little things that we're gonna iron in half. And you want to pin the entire thing like this. And it pretty much doesn't matter how much uh, it is that is pinned over the edge there. Then you want to fold them in over the edge and pin them down as well. Mm -hmm. 
Same of course for the other side. Then you're gonna sew along the entire edge and flip it inside out once you're done. And yeah, we're gonna fold this little guy over and make sure that these uh, <laughs> folded over little edges uh, don't show underneath um, these uh, accent pieces. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. It just makes the entire mask a bit more stable. And you want to make sure that the elastic is out of the way, like that. You don't want to sew over the elastic. And you can see there that I left a little bit of white up there so don't fold over the um, in this case don't fold over the polka dot fabric just fold the little accent piece over the edge of the other fabric <laughs> You want to sew very close to the edge there and then you're done. 